Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the Red Ranger action figure, which came with the Time Life Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 7 season box set. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Red Ranger action figure, which came included with the Time Life 7 season dual box set. Now, John already went over uh, the review of this box set. However, what was not included in the box set uh, when he went over the review was the booklets, which I don't think I have. I can't find the booklet for this one. I have it put up somewhere. But also, what else was not included in that review, which came with the box sets, was this Red Ranger action figure. So let's go ahead and move these to the side. This is the Power Rangers 20th Anniversary set. Um, I did pre-order this set as soon as I heard it was coming out. Uh, so I did manage to get an a action figure with it, which is, of course, Jason the Red Ranger. As you can see, he is wearing the dragon shield. Uh, but he did not come with the dragon dagger. Instead, he came with his blaster and his sword. Uh, I wish they would have did a little bit more detail on these weapons. They could have painted them a little bit. You know, the blaster, all it is is red and white. They could have done that. Um... And the sword, all it is is red and silver. They could have painted it like that. They could have added a little bit of gold in there where the drag or the uh, Tyrannosaurus symbol is. Um, they wouldn't even had to use much more paint. They could have just used the same paint they used on the figure here, just to touch up these uh, weapons. And you will notice the blaster does not transform into a blade like it does in the series. Um, which it really should have. but you know, And it comes with a peg for it to attach to his belt. Like so. Uh, it kind of sticks out quite a bit. Which is why it really should have been able to transform into the blade because I don't think um, they had it in the holster as the blaster. I think they had it in the holster as the uh, blades, as the little daggers. Uh, and the handle is really big. So, And they are made out of a rubbery, softer rubbery plastic. So you don't have to worry about the, them breaking or anything like that. Now let's move on to the figure itself. Very small figure. Let me get him to stand here and I'll grab my uh, tape measure so we can measure him. And he's not wanting to stand really. There we go. All right, Jason here, standing straight up. He is about four inches tall. Just a little bit taller than a G.I. Joe. They re didn't really make him proportionally accurate. You can see his arms, his hands, and legs and feet are all massive. And then he's got this itty bitty head and waist. But... Overall, it's a decent display piece. As for articulation, uh, his head does move. It does turn all the way around. Uh, no ball joint, though. Just a swivel. Uh, his arms 
are on a ball joint and go up like that um, forward and backward and all the way around however forward the dragon shield does hinder it um, backward it can go back about that far before the dragon shield hinders it um, there is no bicep articulation there's a single elbow joint metal pins which is something I kind of wish more toys would or more action figures would use because it's less of a chance of the uh, elbows breaking and there is a swivel at the fore at the glove and it's the same for both arms uh, no waist articulation at all legs can go up about that far in the front and that far in the back not very far at all no thigh swivel single knee swivel and then you got the boots or I mean not knee swivel but yeah no knee joint whatever it's called and then you got the boot swivel with no ankle or toe tilt and he does hold his weapons pretty firmly as you can see swords not going anywhere um, I just I kind of wish they would have you know made him more anatomically correct because um, like I said he's got these big old arms and legs itty bitty head and body very cartoony looking and he's very uh, he doesn't balance that great when he's standing straight up um, he, you have to kind of lean him forward slightly in order for him to stand straight up So there you have it guys the time life mighty morphin power rangers seven season box set mighty morphin power rangers red ranger with dragon shield action figure if you enjoyed this video make sure and go back check out john's review on the actual box set itself And sure, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.